Hey guys, wanted to show you something interesting. Machine skates. Heavy duty roller skates that you can use to move machinery around. Machine skates, as they're called, are pretty simple devices actually. They're, in this case, as simple as a half inch thick piece of steel uh, TIG welded to some drill rod uh, as the axles onto which eight bearings are pressed. And those eight bearings can bear quite a bit of weight even though it's unconventional maybe to apply the wheels directly to the ground like this. They actually work quite well. And so the idea is for most machines you would place two skates on one side and the third skate on the other side for straight moving which is a lot better than using the Egyptian method or soap on the concrete or big bars that you can roll them across. Yes you can tilt and you can roll. Um, I've done that. It's a bit of a hassle. This way is real slick. You just jack it up ever so slightly, stick one of these underneath the machine, put it in the arrangement you want for whichever motion you want. That's all well and good, but what if you don't want to just be moving everything in one line? What if you want to rotate it? Well, if you want to rotate a machine, there's a couple of ways to do it. Uh, essentially, you just need to make a circle. So if all the wheels are like this, when the machine, when you push on any edge of the machine, all the skates are going to want to move in their straight direction. But since they're tied together, they're going to make a circle. Usually what you see people doing is something kind of like this. So you push on this, this end, this way, and as the skate moves, the whole machine will move something like this. All right, here we go. Moving, using the new moving skates that we just built. Half inch seal, eight ball bearings to move the CNC lathe. Moving the dog will be easier. All right, time to try out our new machinery moving equipment. We've got our homemade tow jack, which is a cheap Harbor Freight style jack welded onto a plate with a movable uh, top cap. We'll stick that under the machine and we can jack the machine up to free these skates up and move them around. The machinery skates here are the machinery skates are real simple. They're just ball bearings on a half inch steel plate with an axle of a piece of drill rod welded to them. Okay, and the goal is to take this machine and rotate it 90 degrees to free up space in the middle of the garage. But this technique is applicable anytime you've got to move a machine. Uh, this thing weighs 5,500 pounds and I should be able to move it just by pushing on it. Watch your paws there, buddy. That's going to hurt. Okay, you can pull on here. Okay. Like this little yeah. panel? Ready? One, two, three. That's hard. not even hard. No, it's not. That easy. Woo! Wow, that really clears the garage up, and that took just seconds to move that around. I'm gonna put shop dog back in his. You can see the track. You can see a little bit here where it's got some yellow stuff or something, lamps or something that was on the ground. But otherwise, left the garage, and that, that didn't hurt the floor, it's just stuff that was on it. So that clears up the garage. There's up the garage quite a bit. All you need is an able bodied man and a 13 year old. Yeah, we're two bright minds. All right, so we spun it around, but it's too close to the wall. I gotta move it that way, so I just lift it up, change the skates. Good note don't put your hand underneath the machine. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay, now we're going to do the same to the other side. Okay. So, we've got to move the middle that way. So, I change the skates from being like this to being like this. And there's one back here, and I just move that as well. And we're basically lined up to go straight out. And I can drop it back down. And we're ready. Time to move it. You guys going to help me push?
This should be more than enough. Okay. One important note. That is why you really need to have some kind of grip on the escape, either a piece of rubber or something that doesn't fall off. The one did just fine. And that's it. That's how it's going to look here in the garage. Gives us quite a bit more space. As you saw with my Moriseki, I actually supported it with four machinery skates. Uh, it turns out I only needed three really because it was balancing on the three and the other skate didn't have any traction. It was just kind of um, an extra a fifth wheel, so to speak. So there's a lot of ways to do it. What I did is because I didn't want the center of rotation to be right here on my Moriseki, I actually set two of these at a very shallow angle like this. Or actually, no, I think I did it this way. I set two of them at a very steep angle. And so if you can picture, these were down on one end, and this is way down on the other end, which makes the rotation point center. This is rotating around a circle about here, and those are rotating around the same center right here, which means the whole machine will rotate around that one point. I made this video because I wanted the hobbyist to have access to the same tools that a professional would without having to pay professional prices. And I know because I've spent a lot of money on rigging. In the past, I've paid more than $1,000 to have a rigger come to my house and unload a machine just from the trailer into my garage, just 50 or so feet, and it was over $1,000. And I looked at the tools they were using. They're very simple. And if you uh, do a little bit of studying and plan carefully, you can make a move in your garage just as you've seen today without a whole lot of work. These machine skates don't cost a lot to build and uh, they're very effective in moving things around. Other good tools to have in your garage are dollies like this Harbor Freight dolly, which can, they're rated at something like a thousand pounds. Uh, yeah, this one says a thousand pounds. And you can move uh, smaller pieces of equipment under one or two or more of these things. And of course, they're just effectively bigger and bigger versions of this uh, simple furniture moving dolly. When you get to this size, we're rolling on hard concrete so we can get away with having bearings unprotected. There's no shield. So I hope you find this useful. If you do, post a response to this video. Four. 